Curtis Morris. I'm the exhibits manager here at the Shiloh Museum, and we're here to talk about our fossil exhibit that we redid for our new exhibit suite here. Uh, if you have ever been to the Shiloh Museum in the past, you know that we've always had really cool and interesting fossils. Uh, anybody who's ever dug in the dirt in Northwest Arkansas has probably bumped into a fossil and wondered what the heck is this thing. So in the olden days, we just had fossils on a shelf and we told you what they were, but we thought it would be fun to show you pictures of what the critters actually looked like in life, and then sort of give you an idea of what Northwest Arkansas looked like when the fossils were being formed. Here's a clue. You need to hold your breath if you wanted to go back in time, because we were always underwater. We were underwater for a long, long, long period of time, long enough for all these rocks and fossils to, uh, to form. Let's talk about crinoid stems because it's almost impossible to dig a hole in northwest Arkansas without hitting these cute little things that sort of look like rolls of certs, little discs with holes in them. What in the wide, wide world of sports were those things? Well, they were little animals that lived on the bottom of the sea, and the little segments you're seeing are parts of the stem of the crinoid, which is uh, depicted here in a, in a painting by Chase Studio. Uh, the uh, Limestone layers of rock that underlie a lot of the Ozarks are formed by these, uh, the remains of these animals that have been compressed into rock over long periods of time. But long story short, these little rolls, people call them, they look like a roll of dimes. Sometimes people think they look like lifesavers. Some, some people don't know what they are, but you'll see all sorts of these little stems. They're just parts of the stem of an animal called crinoid. 